It's another edition of Household Budget, Look at What We Spend Each Month. <laughs> I crack myself up. So it's that time of year again, Christmas budget time. And thanks to our Christmas sinking fund, we are going to have a fantastic debt-free Christmas this year. Have I mentioned to you how much I love sinking funds? So this year, our Christmas budget is $3,085, which... Admittedly, I understand for most of you is a very high Christmas budget. We are very much givers. We love giving. Everybody in my family loves giving. We are huge, huge go big or go home people. So yes, I realize this is a lot more than most of you will spend on Christmas. But keep in mind, it's budgeted and we had it saved. We've been saving all year for this. But again... We planned for it, and this is what we as a family wanted. So we saved for it, and, and I'm proud of us for saving for it. One of the reasons that our budget is so high is because this includes absolutely everything. I mean, any possible Christmas-related item, it includes it. Every single gift we buy for every single person, including like Melina's teacher, it includes Christmas pictures with Santa Claus. It includes a new dress for Christmas pictures with Santa Claus. It includes any Christmas activities that we want to do. Like, for example, every year we go out and see the Christmas lights at a local park. And the entrance is, I think, $45 for the three of us to go. And then, you know, we have to buy cocoa and we have to buy marshmallows to roast and all of that. So we do put money in the budget for that. And actually, if you want to see our, like, Christmas traditions, including that. I actually did a whole video on that and I'll link it up in the eye in this guy. It's super fun. I, I really enjoyed making that video. Oh, I love Christmas. Love, love, love Christmas. It also includes a Christmas party for the people that work for me. Like last year, I took all the people that work for me to an escape room and we did it together as a team and it was super fun. And this year, I think I'm going to take everybody for tea at the Willard Hotel, which is right next to the White House. And it's super fancy for Christmas and it's just lovely. And I'm quite sure some of the men are really going to appreciate it. <laughs> But hey, Christmas is about doing stuff with the people that you like and spending time with them as well. So it's going to be an experience. So I know you are wondering why November? Why it's November? It's the beginning of November. Why are you doing your Christmas budget now? Well, I actually do our Christmas budget in November for reasons. In the past, I've done them in December and I've missed out on a lot of stuff because they occur in November. Like for example, Melina's Christmas pictures, you can do the pictures and get them at a discount if you register and pay for them in November. So I save like $20 by registering and paying for them in November. So yeah. And plus I get primo time slots. Two, it gives everything time to get here. So I have plenty of time to wrap and plenty of time to get everything where it's supposed to be and organized. And truthfully, the best prices on stuff isn't actually Black Friday or Cyber Monday. If you look at places like Camel, 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 most of the time you can get your best prices in the first two weeks in November. Checking the annual history of an item to see the price fluctuations throughout the year, you can actually find when the best time to buy something is. And by having a sinking fund, if the best time to buy your item that you're planning on buying for Christmas this year is July, you have that money there already and you can buy it. So for us, we generally don't start thinking about Christmas, honestly, until November. And so we set the money aside. We don't know what we're going to purchase, but we know, okay, there's an upper limit for each individual and we're going to spend that. And then the final reason, November, because it actually gives me plenty of time to film a what I bought for my family video in and have it up and ready to go in early December because you know everybody wants to know because in this house it's all about YouTube all the time. <laughs> so let's go over the budget. So our first item in the budget is Melina. Obviously Melina is Christmas. She's seven. 
her Christmas is super important. As she gets older, we'll probably decrease down to one large gift. But for now, when Santa Claus comes, we need to pay for Santa gifts. And we also need to pay for gifts from mommy and daddy. Because, you know, the 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 big dude in the, the red outfit with the big white beard, he gets the credit for the best gifts, which super annoys me. And at this point in our budget, that $1,000 may be spread out across people and Melina may go down to like 750 because it is still early and we don't have our list made. Mauricio did tell me he wanted to get me a fairly expensive present. We're in negotiations about that, but he is super excited. So my my budget may be going up. I don't know. We're going to talk about it. But for now, this is where we have it set. Then Mauricio and I each have $250 in the budget for us. We have $100 for each of my parents who are Winka and Wiki. Winka being my mother and Wiki being my father. That's what Melina calls them. Don't ask me what it means. We don't know. And then we have $100 each for Abuelo and Abuela, which is Mauricio's parents. We have $100 for each of my nephews and $100 for my new niece who hopefully will be born by the time this video goes live. We'll see. Ah, I'm super excited. We have an agreement with my brother and his wife, Mauricio's sister and her husband. We do not buy gifts for the adults. We focus on the children because Christmas really is about the kid. We have $100 in there for Sprinkles gifts. Sprinkles is our, our elf on the shelf. And Sprinkles comes every day and brings a present. It is a tradition that was kind of started by my mother, kind of like an Advent thing. Um, so we get a little present, usually something from the dollar store, but sometimes there are a couple of bucks. So, you know, 25 at at three to five dollars a piece, you know, chances are we will not spend all one hundred dollars on that. But you know, we want to have it in there because if you know anything about me, you know, I'd rather have too much money in the budget than not enough. Then we have a hundred dollars for a new Christmas dress and Christmas shoes, $50 for pictures with Santa, which we've already actually paid for $500 for the Christmas party that I mentioned earlier at the Willard hotel, $50 for Melina's teacher, $25 to go to Christmas Eve services at the national cathedral. We did that last year and we loved it. It's like your traditional Christmas service, you know, and the music is beautiful and it is just lovely. So we decided that we will probably make that a tradition every year. And when Melina's a little bit older, we will let her go with us. But for now, she stays with my parents while Mauricio and I go. And then $60 for the, the Christmas lights that I talked about earlier. And all in all, that totals $3,085. This might be the first Christmas that our budget doesn't kill us because one of the reasons we upped it this year was because last year we tried to cut way back and then we ended up spending the money anyway. Again, budgeting is about real life. It's about being realistic. Our realistic is that we're going to spend a lot of money on Christmas. So we might as well put it in the budget. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.